Yeah, the boys, all the boys love me because I just bought the memes and kebabs with the money I want at moneyball.com. You Australia's number one fantasy sports destination. In less than a year, they have given away $2.3 million in money. That's so much money for the boys. Go to moneyball.com and sign up for free today. Yeah, the boys. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Locker Room. I'm in with, here with the man, Conrad Hurrell. How you going, bro? Yeah, good, good, man. Thanks for having me, my bro. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. Uh... Last few last week since the nines has been crazy for you. You know the the drama with the you know the whole the whole run and stuff, style and technique. And I think that when I was watching that, I was like, "That's how you run." So it's hard to like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Obviously, it's a good start for us. The boys we made it yeah. to the final. We just came short against Para, but the incident came up. But um, it's tough for me because I, I grew up running like that the whole time. You've, and yeah, then, always running like and that. And it just started last year that the incident happened. And yeah. I uh, kind of take own ownership for it and it just had to yep. go back to training and try to run just it was money different. Out high. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Because it's, 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 I was um, talking to uh, who was talking? one of the boys anyway. Petro, had, like, he ran like that too. It's, it's a, like a specific running style. So it's very, like, it's hard because, like, you could run straight and knock someone out accidentally as well. Like, as in, if you just ran, instead of trying to hold, brace yourself. You could run straight, and if your knees up in the, that kind of area, it's going to knock him out. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, it's just it's one of those unlucky things. But yeah, um, you boys, you boys looked amazing in the nines. Um, you didn't get obviously you didn't use um, with John Johnson. He, he he got like a little. He's sweet, not that bad inches. No, like no, he's no, nice. Okay, that's yeah. good. So um, yeah, he's all looked like he's looked like he had gelled really well. It looked like everything was like just working for you. Yeah, um, I think it comes with a good pre-season, yep. um, off-season as well. Um, obviously, we, we need to pick up our standards at, at training and everywhere. So, um, not just during training, and off-field as well. So, yep. I, I kind of like took on a, to the games as well in the nines and everyone was excited about it and everyone played. But like I said before, we just came short. Yep. So, hopefully, the season will, will go all the way. So, yeah. It was um, it was good to see just... just uh, that kind of style of football that you guys can kind of offer that other teams, you know, they may be able to offer it, but you just seem to be the best at it. Is there something, is that something you kind of, you know, that kind of flary offload, you know, you know, line breaks, all that kind of stuff. Is that something you practice at training or is it just a natural kind of, I guess, gelling that you guys have together? Yeah, I think uh, the coaches then just want us to play footy. Yep. Like, um, like the, like Sean, Ben yep. Tolino, they don't want to take what they can out of them. So yep. they just want us to, to play play footy like stick to a structure but we yep. can still like run around like yep. we all know Sean Johnson what he can do and Benny Matilino can yep. offload and now we've got Roger and Bully and that's a glue yep. and yeah it's, it's amazing we've got a good team so yeah what about yourself uh you you're you're um from are you from Auckland originally or are you from uh like are you what's uh, your background yeah I was born in Tonga, Tonga? I, I grew up in Tonga yep. until I was 18 and moved to New Zealand to Auckland Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, first time away from home was to straight to Auckland. And oh, really? It was a bit uh, struggling with the weather. Yeah, that would have been hard. It, man. Was, it was cold, but yep. <laughs> kind of the, the food would kind of make me feel like I'm I was at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, food, but um, yeah, it was hard for me to to move to Auckland. Obviously, from a small island. Yep. And always with my mom and dad around me and my brothers and sisters yep. to somewhere that I wasn't familiar with. But yep. um, I guess my mom and dad just trying to push me because they. They need a bit of future for me than just staying at home. Yeah, they knew you could back. have a good life. Yeah, yeah. and I kind of just took it and much love to the Auckland Grammar School for taking me to the scholarship for two yep. years and went to school and everything just happens from there. So yep. yeah. So growing up in uh, Tonga, what, what walk us through like being a, a young kid from Australia? You know, I, I would not even come close to the, to living in a in a place like Tonga. It would be beautiful, but it would also be hard. What's uh, like tell. Walk us through. What's it like to grow up in Tonga? Is it just a you know young Tonga kid? Yeah, I guess money was an issue. Yeah, like we didn't have that much money, but you didn't. We just live out of the land. Yeah, and okay. The family, brothers, sisters, and mum there was always happy. There was food on the table. My yep. dad was really work hard for them. My mum yep. looked after us very well. But I guess two of my brothers play footy. Yeah, my grandpa, and my dad played a little bit of footy as well. But um, none of them didn't quite made it to yep. where they wanted to be. And I guess that kind of made me strive for for that um for for the goals in my like yep. some of my families wanted to to get it but um as a kid i was just running around i didn't didn't wear boots till till i was 16. oh really i what? was playing bare feet That's crazy, it was crazy because it's funny when i was telling the boys and i started playing footy with journals and plastic bottles because ball was just too expensive and my brothers and me what? And just couldn't um help it and, and training right. it, like 
when you go to high school, we'll yeah. use two balls and just for like two <laughs> teams were training with the two balls and just that's no group and there. It was just crazy. But like looking back, I, like that's what I always every time I kind of like high headed. Yep. Like think I'm comfortable. I just kind of think back to yeah. where I grew up and. I guess that wow. what kind of like keep me going is yep. just my family and where how I grew up and my mates and stuff like we absolutely had nothing but we're like we loved life so yep. yeah it was good it's crazy how like yourself you know you loved life and you had no material items and yet you seem to love yeah. it and yet you got these kids like they got like friggin <laughs> Xbox PlayStation yeah. like, all this mad stuff like anything they could ask for iPads phones laptops and yet they're still unhappy and it, you got these young island boys that have nothing playing with like water bottles and they're still loving life it's crazy eh? like yeah the, like i said before look, everyone thinks that tonga's yeah obviously tonga's real poor poor yeah. island but it's poor it money just, but yeah, it's a lot it's yeah, rich yeah, happiness family yeah happiness, yeah and everything yeah. was there and everyone because we all know we don't have it so yeah. none of us wanted to ask mom and dad for a laptop or for a phone i didn't That's get a phone until <laughs> i was 18 i think 18 <laughs> oh, and we usually use the landline so if you have any girlfriends on that like they we just had to yeah had to call through mom and dad to <laughs> yeah it was it was funny it was like that and yeah as soon as i got my first phone it was a little nokia it was yeah. it was amazing <laughs> playing those snakes game now now i've got an iphone and it was it's just pretty pretty mad like i said before thinking back home yeah it's kind of keep me grounded like and yeah when I'm, every time i kind of like get up a bit high-headed yeah yeah you think good. about yeah, where you come from and then and mom always remind me Yep. Mind, yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so how old are you now? Twenty three. Uh, twenty four now. Twenty four yeah, now. So you yeah. just turned twenty four, or uh, turning twenty five this year. Turning twenty five. Yeah. So it's what it would be like five, five, six years ago where you were living on the island, just chilling, you know, having. Or you came over at si- 16, 18, right? 18. Eighteen. Yeah. So yeah. you were six years ago. You were just chilling in Tonga, enjoying life, and then boom, you come over because you're a good footy player. They, did they send scouts over to see you? Yeah, it was, it was obviously a, a funny story. They, yep. they brought a scout over. They was looking at some some other players and yeah oh looking at other players yeah and then okay is that game they were playing against their player and then uh, i think i just it's just magic that i played really good in that yep. game and they just changed their mind because they needed a asap oh, and okay. they just they just picked me in and went home and told mom and dad that i'm be going to new zealand in two weeks so what that's crazy it was, it was crazy and then everything just went up there from yeah so were you were you the talk like was it do you live in would you live in a small village yeah yeah just near town yeah wow so that everyone would have known about it was everyone talking about uh, it? i didn't say um Oh, it's just like my mom and dad didn't really want to. Tell oh, anyone. okay, okay. So until it happens, so it's, uh, yeah, because it's just a good <laughs> Yeah, my boy's going to New Zealand, and he's here like six months later. <laughs> where, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, so it was good. It was good. Um, so, tell us what what's it like, man? Like you, you come from like you know it, it, rich love and family, but not a lot of material items, and then you come over to to Auckland, and it's beautiful, and you have everything you could ever want, and. You obviously would have missed your family but what was it like was it was it a strange experience coming into a place where everything you want you can just have kind of thing yeah was it, it, was, it was kind of different like like you just said like i never had those stuff when yeah. i was back home but like um for at one stage just kind of like uh mid year last year kind of like hit me back and um saying yeah. that like this first experience i have that money won't won't make me happy just my family and yeah. how humble i am or like keep me good got me all the way but um yeah it was just different when i when i first came when i first moved to new zealand i was looking everywhere like houses yeah. like five <laughs> stores up and it's just it was just crazy and all yeah. the cars and yeah yeah like being in the motorway and the stuff was just quick yeah. as 100 kb hours but um it was just cool man it was cool at the same time it was just hard for me to yeah. take it all in yeah and you kind of take time to to get in but uh, my dad grew up in, in Auckland for a couple of years, so, oh, he, so came he knew with a bit me. of it. Yeah, he, yep. he came with me for like four months. To, then oh, that would have helped. So it would have helped me yep. a lot. So it was good. And so um, I, I seen uh, on your Instagram. You, did you recently go back? To yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, uh, spent Christmas and New Year's. With, with what the was family. that like? Was it good to see everyone? Yeah, and yeah it was really good, man. Yep. It just went in there and chill, like. Yep. Because um, because we're we're Baha'i and yeah, we just went and chill there and with the family, mom and dad and. And New Year's when yep. I say Happy New Year's to my grandma and grandpa and oh, okay. Uncle Nan and I just went in and chilled with my, my friends. But it was just good to go back home and like kinda like reset the the, the mind yep. to come back for a big bigger season. Obviously last year was my was the worst season of my life. So um just kinda going back home, just kinda like refresh the memory. Yeah, realise what you got yeah. and, and how hard and you get back into stuff. it. So yeah. 
And uh, so, did, had you had you travelled anywhere from Tonga before you went to New Zealand? No, nah, there was the first oh. time I was away from family, away from home. First time on a plane and as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like I said, it was just I was just happy that Dad came with me. The the school paid for yep. Dad as well to to come over. And, was, and so um, what like language barrier? Like, was it hard? Like, uh, to, I, I could understand it, but just trying hard to, to like, talk to that. Yeah, but my Dad can can speak it. Yeah, so okay. Everything was just through my Dad to me. And that's crazy because like it's like uh, I imagine myself going to somewhere like Tonga. I would have no like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't yeah, even know. It'd be yeah. crazy. If you go to Tonga, everyone, like, you'll feel like a celebrity. Everyone will talk to you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, just because you're white. <laughs> you yeah, really good. Every, they think every white people is rich. So oh, yeah. <laughs> they just look at you. Oh, they probably ask for photos and stuff. But, oh, it's fair. Yeah, it's a really cool island, man. They're yep. like, real friendly and stuff. But um, it was hard for me to take it off. But I was just happy it was an all boys school. No yep. shame. No girls around. So I was like <laughs> trying to just... speak every, every chance I can. Every yeah, time yeah. everyone mocks me, but I didn't really. They're all, they're all boys. <laughs> yeah, the boys. Yeah, the boys. Shame off. So yeah, yeah. It was good. Um, so when you come over, like, what what was it? Did you you know hit the ground running footy wise? Like, as in when you came over, did you play good footy as well, or, or did you slowly ease into the systems over here? You know what I mean? Like, was yeah, it uh, was it hard or was it was it? No, nah, right? no, it was just kind of the same. Like training wise, just kind of the same back home. Yeah. Just not the facility. It was. Uh, Instead it was of just funny, it was just one time. Um, after training, because I was I was boarding in um in the school in Gr- Open Grandma, I came down to the field because I haven't tried to slide like you run and just slide on oh. the field because you can't do that in Tonga. You just stop, <laughs> or even if you slide, you get like a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all dry. So, it's I, yeah. So I just I came down from mates and they're just laughing at me sliding around the field. <laughs> you were sliding so I was like, yeah, because it's like so soft. I was like, wow, this is super cool. And it was it was it's pretty it's pretty cool, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was just the only, the only <laughs> hard just thing is, was, yeah, just sliding around, just scoring tries. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Oh, but the bro. only hard thing is, was just com- trying to communicate with the with other boys because yeah. they they couldn't um, understand me that well. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, there was just, luckily just like a few Tongans there. They can't speak Tonga, but they can understand me in Tonga. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, but it was cool. They they helped yeah. me out. So um, yeah, Ronnie, my, my boys, Ronnie and them. So it was good. Took so they they helped me out. There. Okay. So it was it was cool. Nearly in them. Um, so when in Tonga was it Union that you were playing? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So because Tonga Union's big in Tonga, hey? yeah, real big. Um, yeah, okay. League is just starting to to get to up grow. There, yeah. Because, do you reckon the the fact that Tonga versus Samoa helps that? You know, because of yeah, that kind yeah. of rivalry and the yeah. island boys and stuff it's like that. Yeah, it's it's kind of good. Like the rivalry is still there, but after the game, the boys like yeah, 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 they, yeah. It's cool. Not like the back in the days they hate each other and stuff. But like, just well, I was gonna. Say, I, I reckon they could do a better. Uh, like the the media could do a better. Um, they could explain to the public like why Australians how deep that rivalry is even though yeah. it's still you know he's, he's a friend and stuff now yeah. but the the heritage of like he's used yeah, to war yeah, and yeah. used Back to be in the days, yeah, yeah i think that they could sell that more as in like this is this is how much it means to these guys yeah, like yeah. even though they're friends it still does mean yeah, something yeah. you know what i mean it's, it's still there so. um yeah so when uh when you came over you were playing union what what made you switch to league uh i guess it was uh it was, it was a hard choice but it was for my mate if you remember omar salami because of the roosters now Okay. Uh, I went to the same school with him. Yep. Went um, play first with him with him. So yep. he made it to the under twenties. He went in tri league and he made it to the under twenties. Yep. So my my visas was only for last for two years. So this is my last year, two thousand and ten. So I was trying to look for something for a club or oh wow yeah, okay to, to if they to can stay. approach me to stay oh wow and okay. then just couldn't couldn't get anywhere yep. and I almost tried told me to try league and I was like no idea what it is yeah but yeah. I, I would, like okay. I know a few people. I know Manu Watawe. Yep. He was playing with them, or oh, probably just Manu. And yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, I got no choice now. I'll come, come and try. So I went into a club and wow, uh, that's crazy. Just yeah, they give me opportunity to trial. Yep. But no, no contract. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah trial and then the club just said yep. Yeah, so yeah, they paid for my visa, gave me a contract, and it was the best thing ever. And told so, mum and dad, wow. and they were like stoked too. And then yep, just one year contract with under twenty years, and then. They you had a massive another, year that year, didn't yeah, you? They gave me another one more year for the top side, and then, and then, and then show up there from there. So it's good. And and so so you were, like a lot of kids are playing for their dream, but you were playing for a visa to stay in Auckland, like as in you wanted to you know want to stay and living a good life kind of thing. Was that the kind of motivation? yeah? I, I, um, as a group as a kid, I always wanted to come play in New Zealand as well. Yep. But I guess I play union. But yep. I guess when I was like going through all my clubs with my. With my first year's then coach and my manager, they were just trying to help me a lot, push me to in every other club they will help me in Auckland. Yep. And everyone just said, uh, they just can't, they don't have the money to do everything. And um, yep. 
I was just like at, at that moment and I was just trying to get like a visa at home but yeah. always dream of to, to play for New Zealand team and yeah. then this came up and I still remember my first trial of, of league I kept running sideways and I kept going around because there's only one centre in Union and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I kept going both ways and they told me just stay in one <laughs> side and stay there for the rest of the yeah, game yeah. Yeah, and I keep running inside, out outside, and I, yeah, yeah and I keep running out and they're like man this is the worst and I, and I was learning a little bit and then, yep. yeah but then they just they saw that there was something raw in you that could play league you know yeah the, it, yeah the club crazy. forgot something really good as well so so yeah, they, took care of, they took care of your visa and then that was it. You were here. And, yeah. and did, when you played, like after you played a few games, was it? did you fall in love with the game? or was uh, it was First game, after, after oh, really? the, the, the trial and everything. And um, I played a cup game, one game for my number. And then my first 20s, I, I just went crazy. And yep. after that, I was just, <laughs> where this game been? Yeah, yeah. And I just loved it. And yep. then, yeah. Was it weird? Was it weird like with the 20s? Because, you know, you would have gone from you know Tonga where you, you had just your family and a lot of love and then you went over to Auckland and you had like school facilities and now it would have been good but then you went to 20s and the facilities would have been crazy yeah it was know? crazy everything was there trainers yep. and, yeah yeah you got a massage and everything yep. got physio I was just like trying to get used to everything <laughs> it was just kind of like right there and you just yep. need to go talk to him and then it's it was never just, like you didn't have to want anything it was yeah, just there yeah, yeah it, was, it, was it was pretty cool it was really cool um Started. It was just good to be there, and, and yep. the club was amazing. And Warriors everyone is in the a club. good club, man. It's yeah, like, they, they did look after was, us like yep. really well. So it was they good. take care of people that like that move there. Yeah, quite, yeah. Quite a fair bit because when I went there in two thousand nine, the the office took care of me. Like they took care of my like uh, like my accommodation, <laughs> get like my transport. Like as in they they did everything for me. They were they're a really good club. The Warriors when it comes to like office and stuff like that. Um, so. When you played, you had that breakout year in twenties, and everyone was talking about you know this this big center that just ru- like runs <laughs> over people, and and what was it like when you started getting this media attention? You know, like you, you know four years ago, you're just just a young boy that was trying to learn the language, yeah. and then f- like two three years down the track, Australian media, New Zealand media is talking about you. What was that like for you? Uh, I think it was, was at the start it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I still remember my first interview, and the boys still give it to me. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've said some real strange <laughs> stuff in the, in the interview, but it was real fresh it was stuff. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was still pretty, pretty cool. And yep. just, I was never like into reading stuff on, on social media and stuff, yep. but like just hearing people talking about me was just cool. Was, it was really cool. Yep. Um, like I said before, but my mom always told me to just, just keep it keep it low. Like, you yep. know, that. You're getting to the stage that people are talking about you. You just need to, to be humble, just be myself. So yeah, be respectful yeah, and just yeah. yourself. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's that's awesome. Like to, that that coming from because I had um uh, James Seguiaro on yeah. a few uh, like probably I don't know six or seven weeks ago, and he he had a very similar story. Like he come over from PNG, you know he he, he had nothing and he just kind of worked up from from the ground himself. Just worked hard and made it to first grade, and it was just it's. It's crazy to see, like with myself, like I had so many opportunities, but compared to you, like, like it's just it's such an inspirational mm-hmm. story when young kids come from nothing to something. Okay, so we go, you, you, you're killing under twenties. Everyone's talking about this this bulldozer of a center, and then you get you get asked to train with the first grade squad. What happened? How did your first grade debut come along? And like, what was the you know how did that? What was the story behind it? Did it, was it an expected thing? Like, did the coach come up to you and be like? You know, off oh, if you keep playing really well, you'll play first grade, or was it just out of nowhere? The coach said you're playing first grade. Um, they they just told me the spot. They'll, every every person there has got the opportunity to start on the, on, on on this year. On that yeah. year, there was um, they was playing, but then it was just right about that week of round one that he, that he told me I was playing, and I was I told oh, my week around one. Yeah, and I told yeah. my mom and dad that I'm playing, and they're like surprised too because they didn't know it would come that fast. Oh, okay. Because it's like straight from twenties to top side, and then yep. the first year top side, I get to run the first game, and and you you don't even playing league for three years or two years, just one year, one year, twenties, yeah, twenty. So okay, so you went union straight into the twenties, had that awesome year, and then the next league. year you played in a row. Yeah, <laughs> so it was just cool. That's but, crazy. Um, yeah, I think he kind of knew that he said out that I was going to start, but then I think he kind of knew that I was real nervous. Oh, okay. So he, like before the game he just told me that I'll be off the bench and I was yep. like okay that's, that's better. better yeah yep. and I was off the bench and play against Manly over in the park we, we lost but then yep. it was a great feeling here I was just running out and it was packed too and it, what was that like it was, was crazy it, was it when you, like 
take us back to that moment when you're running out. What are you thinking and how are you feeling about it all? Uh, I still remember when I when I ran out, I wasn't thinking. I didn't know there was that much crowd there. I was thinking about my mum and dad and oh, okay. how far I, I came. Yep. And yeah, my my older sister and my auntie was there watching the game, and it was it was it was a good feeling. Yeah, special. Yeah. And then off the bench, they told me to go in because Jeremy Party was injured. Yep. And. I just, just went crazy. Skis, just yeah, yeah. There. <laughs> yeah like well, I was playing twenty years. I like look. I was watching the some of the players. I used yep. to I look up to the, the, some of the Aussie players. With Anthony Watmo and them. It yep. was pretty cool. I loved how they, how they play. Yeah, and, and you, now you know, I get to play against, against him. Yeah. He was he was cool. He was good. I remember um, when I uh, when I was in. It was the under nineteens back when I started. Twenty twelve hadn't come in yet. And I remember like watching like the first graders and like man they're so big and strong and fast. <laughs> I'm like man they'll smash me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you get on the field and it's like in, in I, like I don't know about you but my first tackle I got tackled and I was like that wasn't that yeah, bad. It yeah. wasn't that bad. Like, yeah, well, no, my first run I didn't go down. I got hold, held up and it kind of gave me the confidence oh, okay. to keep so running, you, keep yep. running. Yeah, yep. so it was it was cool. That's awesome, yeah. man. That's awesome. Um, so you make your debut and then you continue to play good footy. Um, what do you what, what do you reckon? You kind of a, a, your game evolved, like you, you you changed from just a guy that can run the ball well, you started to read defence well, and everything kind of improved. What, what do you reckon that was? Did you reckon it was just because you needed time to play, like you're playing the game more often? Or Yeah, I think it's just, um, I, I, was, I was a kid, I didn't know much about like being professional and stuff, yep. but like just doing the little stuff, like after training, you go watch a video of what you do yep. and just do a little bit of tackling after training and doing the little stuff as yep. well. So I, I think that's kind of, put me up there and especially just what, like getting more like watching more videos with the coaches and yep. then seeing where you at and, and just talking to like whoever was inside and outside you yep. it kind of like got me to like read the defence a little bit more better than what it used yep. to be and then just learning how to tackle so yeah and, uh, and w- has there ever been a time when you've been in the moment and you've started talking like you started talking to him and it, like you know what I mean like you start yelling yeah, like I, st- I, still, I still do it like, <laughs> whenever I'm like Really frustrated or trying to get someone to just run at me. I just, I just, <laughs> Stop talking. yeah, I just speak in time. <laughs> I remember awesome. the, the worst game I played was against the that I think that I played it was against the Cowboys or in Townsville. Yeah, just that's my first game against um Jonathan first and two. Oh, yeah, okay, that's how I met him. Yeah, he was just throwing balls in front of my face <laughs> behind my head, and it was just. <laughs> Yeah, it was just it was so frustrated that game, but yeah, it's just good to to learn. Yeah, stuff, yeah, so. and like it's first and I was <laughs> like, I remember, um, who happened? Oh, I, I still got a, a chipped tooth, and it's from when Gregory was fended my face. <laughs> I've got that too. <laughs> <laughs> Probably every single guy in the world have got that fend too. <laughs> I think anyone that's played him has a chipped tooth, <laughs> and so like when people like. People were like, oh, no, you got a chip too. I'm like, that's mad. Like, it's Greg English, man. Yeah, it's it from him. So when you come over, it was um, was there any players that just, like, particularly, like, took you under their wing and, like, kind of helped you out and, like, said, oh, this is how this is, this is is how we do things here and be a bit, like, you know what I mean? Like, this yeah. is... Yeah. When I went in, into the club, there was, like, 10 Tongan players, yeah, and they, they could speak Tongan too. Yeah. Oh, okay. and, but it was just mainly Manu Watabe took me under his wing. He was a good person. Yeah, yeah. he Very just looked person. after me. Yeah. Uh, it was training just making sure I've got what I need to to have and stuff yep. so it was good and it just come out I reckon every single kid in New Zealand looked up to him too and yep, 100%. I think the whole of Tonga looked up to, to one as well and some kids in Australia so I was lucky enough to be yep. hanging around with him just learning of him and stuff so yeah and Jerome Rupati too yep, was Jerome playing the same position as him very so good person man. get to learn a lot from him so yep. yeah what's what's Jerome doing now he's still he's working with the club yeah okay uh, yeah, so he's a good person man yeah he is <laughs> both, both of them are good people yeah um, <coughs> that's something that like uh, like people that you know you see Manu play on the field and he's just like he's so big and he's strong he's aggressive and he's just this big you know just animal just running over people but off the field oh, yeah. he's so nice <laughs> he's so he's nice he's as softy ever yeah, yeah. The field, yeah. And so I was like when people say like what's you know you know, you'd know, you be similar to yourself like people ask you what's you know what's Lockie like or what's such and such like and what's money what was money like and I'm like man he's literally one of the nicest dudes yeah, you ever meet in your softy, life man. and he's not like aggressive or angry or nothing yeah, he's, he's a big softy guy, yeah, he's off a the good field. guy very good guy um so what, what who's someone that you did you grow up watching league at all or no it was just uh, all union so it's all big, union, yeah, it's just big John Alamo. 
Big job. Yeah, yeah, and then rest in peace. I think man. every year, every kid in Tonga will look up to him. Yeah, yeah he was an inspiration. Like, th- there'll never be anyone like him. Like, there never yeah. ever. He was just he, everything he did was better than anyone in his. Yeah, you know what I mean? Has, he yeah. was faster. He was stronger. He's strong. He was. Just, he was a better fender. He was better positional. Like, Steph everything. too. So he's oh. good. And then came to league, and yep. that's. I think that's how I like look up to Manu because he's kind of like had that Very same similar. layer yep. in league, but just yeah, runs hard. He just don't care who's in front of him yep so um so would would you ever i mean you probably haven't thought about it would would you ever be interested in playing union like was that something that you'd think about like as in going back or not really you love league and you want to stay yeah league? i love league but um you just never know you yeah. might might get a chance there like yeah later on yeah um i kind of really love love the game now i grew up in the union too i love i love the game too the union. Yeah. but then when i came to league it's kind of like more of me just Suit you. Yeah. yeah, but then, yeah, probably later on, we yeah. we could to travel around. Yeah, know, yeah. We, oh, so, man. What about like? Yeah. Would you do seven? Would you be interested in seven? <laughs> or no, too much fitness. <laughs> too, much. <laughs> <laughs> too quick for me. <laughs> Bro, I did sevens for a bit. It was torture. <laughs> the training every day is fitness. Yeah. There's never a day where there isn't yeah, fitness. Yeah, Bill said that league. He thought that league was the worst, and nah, then he went sevens. sevens. Bro, <laughs> Bro <laughs> it's raw. <laughs> it's like you know, with with Lee, with Lee, you can go through your schedule and you can be like. Fitness on Tuesday, yes. fitness yeah, so on Friday, yeah. sweet. I can count. Like, <laughs> sevens, it's not like that. It's fitness on Monday, Monday Tuesday, well. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. And you're like, you're about to, you're, you're freaking a day away from a game and you've got and fitness again. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yes, no, it's a, it's a tough game. Um, is, is, is Sonny another guy that you kind of you look up to as a, a person and a player? Like, is he someone you know very well? or not Yeah, really? well, just when I came into league, like, yep. every, like, there's always haters there for him, but, like, he's a man. I guess, like, he's... he's won everything oh bro yeah so like all, what he's like, achieved is yeah he's, this is always um good i played against him and yep it was tackling him was like tackling a wall oh bro he's solid. just like solid and harder <laughs> yeah. than no, normal people yeah, <laughs> i remember i did a kick return and like i would pretend that i was going to run it straight and like i'd be like five straight minutes away step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like in my mind i'd be like i should run straight he's like it's a sunny bill like even yeah. if i do get shot it's sunny it's bill still, and then, like at the last minute, I'll be like, "No, nah, I can't nah, do this. I can't nah. do this." Yeah, he's, he's an amazing player, man. And yep. what he does off field is always good. Yep. So. You said last year you struggled, and and what do you reckon it was? I mean, you still had good games last year. Like you still had. Yeah. It wasn't like you played absolutely <coughs> terrible, but you know your standard of being this just, you know, just dominant center that was always breaking tackles, always you know making busts. So what do you reckon it was? What do you what? Do you, what was yeah, it? I think it just started off. Uh, uh, poor preseason for me. I didn't didn't had a surgery preseason and didn't get to train a lot with the boys. But yep. there's not an excuse. And then came first round, I had a, uh, injuries and got yeah, four okay. weeks out. And then just came out and had that um, the knee thing that happened, and then yep. got another four weeks out. I think I just didn't get uh, that much game time that I, that I was asked. But then yep. at the same time, I think I was just, just thinking about too much. Yep. But outdoor and not focusing well on, on footy, just footy is where I needed to be. And then yep. I guess I was just kind of like, I said before, kind of high-headed that, I, that I've made it and then yeah, forgot yeah. about where I came from. You're and then, comfortable. You're yeah, kind of comfortable like yeah. that I'm, I'm there. And then yep. I think so I, I signed a, another three-year deals with, with the club. Just kind of like all excited and then, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know, yeah. and, and you kind of you, you feel like you sign a three year deal, so like you're not worried, you, you're not at, you don't have that you added pressure. Safe, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just trying to relax, but then yeah, yeah I just got to talk to a few people and talk to my managers as yeah. well, and they put me where I needed to be, and, and yeah. um, talk to a club, and just last year I was just I was just just trying to yeah, I was just doing my own thing. Yeah not listening and, and stuff like that and kind of like I took a lot from fans and as well like the, how they like they, they talked yep. me down but like like I said I was going back home last year was just pretty cool yep. to just refresh my mind and, and just know, see yeah know who I am yep. and mum dad and mum especially talked to me like oh, really? where I needed to be and okay. stuff and then dad kind of <laughs> yeah, took <laughs> yeah, me the, yeah. the hard one and, and yep. it was good just to hear from my sisters and brothers and them yep. just remember where I grew up and and did they just say like you know you, you've got something special there? Don't lose it. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. They just say the the opportunity is there, but the, the opportunity can yep, it can leave go. You, you yep. can just go. It's crazy if you don't if you don't take it um, yep. with two hands. So, kind of like, kick me in the bum a little bit yep. to to come back and 
be the person I was. Yeah. Like yeah. the the Connie, the, the yeah, leader, yeah. My, my family knew. So yeah. I kind of just took that all in my position and just try and move on yeah. and just forget about last year and try be a better season this year. So yeah, yeah like I said before, it's a good start in the nines, but like we still need to, to yeah. be better. So. E- you know what that is? That's future you. After you just signed up to moneyball.com.au, towed your punished mate up that thinks he knows footy and taken his money. You might buy him beer, you might not. The main thing is you towed him up and he's a punish. Head over to moneyball.com.au and sign up for free today. Yeah, yeah no, it's um, it's 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 hard. People don't realise it is hard to every single year play to the best of your like, for example. Like Greg Inglis, he's one of the best to ever play the game. He'll be a future immortal, in my opinion. But there are years or parts of years where he struggles as well. Like yeah. everyone, you know, we've all, everyone has things going on off the field. That because playing good in the NRL is, is a small percentage. Like as in, like it only takes a tiny thing to not be right in your life yeah. for you not to be playing at the peak of your yeah. kind of game. So yeah, it's it's, it's hard. And then uh, you know, New Zealand New Zealand fans, they're not exactly the big, yeah, they, they, they are crazy. They're, they're, they're crazy cool. fans. They're, they just love the game too much. Exactly. They, they love it. So exactly. it's kind of it's kind of it's Double a good thing at the same yeah. time. But yeah. like, I love Definitely. how they they love the game. They're hardcore. They yep. they die for the game. So I guess just one thing we need to like the players need to think of too is just we're not just playing for ourselves. We're playing yep. with the whole nation too. So that was, it's pretty cool. And so getting guys like um, Vascheck and uh, uh, Isaac. Luke, what does that, you know, when those signings happened, I mean, you, you would have obviously spent time with them anyway because they're New Zealand side, so, yeah. you know, you all would have been together. But, what, you know, you've now your back line is, is one of the best in the game, if not the best in the game right now. What, what, what's it like? What's, was it, you know, you've got all these outside people saying, you know, you're the best team on paper in the, in the game and you've got a lot of pressure outside, but what's it like to be in, this, in the side with a bunch of players that uh, just... Yeah, the best in the game, pretty much. What's it yeah, like? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, obviously, we already have a like of Sean Johnson, Simon yep. Mannering, uh, yeah, Manu Watafe, Ryan Hoffman. But then these these guys can come in. Isaac yeah. Luke, Roger. It's just pretty cool because they they're one of the legends in the game, the superstars. Yep. Um, Isaac Luke has been there for for a while, and the it's young player, rising yeah. superstar, yep. uh, Sheck, has he's got a premiership already. And he's so good yeah man. it's so good so yeah. um, just get to run around with him and yep. those two it's, it's pretty cool yep. like we've got some other signings as well Robo um, Hred and Steph from Sharks and yep. Ling and them it's just pretty cool to run around with those yep. boys and it's just a good feeling like getting those good signings will will lift up the team and we'll hopefully we'll get a good season this year So and has, yeah. has your coach kind of been like look yes we've got great signings yes you know we have a team on paper, but we need to say we need to stay level headed. We need to stay focused together. Do you know what I mean? Is it is, yeah. has there been a talk? It's like just in the, in the when we're in training and stuff, we, no one really talk about it. Like it's yeah, a great yeah, signing. It's, normal. it's yeah. just another player they're coming in, and if we don't train to the level we need to be, the coach we need it all needs to be, we won't play. Yep. So yep. even though Roger and, and Isaac Luke or Sean Sean or myself or one, yep. if you don't train to where we at, the coach will like. Yeah, very true. Yeah, so like that's what you want to. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of like it's the same, same yeah. person at training. You just need to train to the level where, obviously, we already know who they are. They're amazing players, but like when it comes to training, is yep. yeah, you train so yeah, together with the team as as a, as a team. So yep, yeah, definitely. And you, and you need you need like everyone to buy in. Yeah. To what your team wants. Yeah, but um, it's good that they brought those good um, signings to the standards. They are they already up high. So yeah, yep, some of us that need to be up there too. So. Yeah. And uh, so, what's been? I guess what would be the hardest thing in, in your career that you've had to struggle with? I know you had, um, you know, struggles with media and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Has that been something that, you know, being a young guy from Tonga, and you're actually like you, your social media is actually really good. You're really good at. It. You're a funny guy. People love to, to watch you. But it's also it's you've got to be very careful with yeah. social media too. Is it was it hard? You know, learning that as a kid from from Tonga that you wouldn't have had any any kind of you know what I mean? Like yeah, uh, of, was it hard to get used obviously to? Obviously, it? it was just just. We, 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 at the club, we, we have this um, talk, like people coming in to tell us what's good to put up or yeah. what's not good to put up. So it's kind of like, it's just kind of like easy. Oh, I want to say easy, but it's just kind of good that it, the club like help will yeah, yeah, help us out with food yeah. there and it was just, everything there was good. But I reckon the hardest thing in my career is was just the, the food. Um, oh, really? Like, I, I grew up in Tonga. Like, yep. we, I, I eat whatever I want. Like, yep. um, obviously, I grew up with bread. 
we pretty much have bread breakfast yeah dinner, but it's terrible it, for you it's, yeah it's, it's hard <laughs> it's we'll, so nice though and carbs yep. we'll, we'll eat taro like i'll yep. eat taro just for for dinner and that's it like yep. this meat this is pretty expensive but like well, mum and dad work for it and we still get it but like coming here yep. meat is it's right there and then carbs and yeah, yeah. Is after so it was just hard for me but then uh, I had the, this incident I went home I just wasn't thinking about it I wasn't knowing much, much about the game I yeah. thought like off season your off season you're done you're oh, done okay, 40, yeah. you do whatever you want and then, <laughs> yeah, so you went home and just and ate whatever I, you yeah, wanted yeah I came back yep. I was 10 kgs heavier than I was normally needed and then right, we've all started, been yeah, started to, to learn from there and, yep. then, and then finally got it this year eating yep just need to take it like three months to get used to it yeah to just eating what food to eat and yep. drink a little water and stuff so i guess that's what's the hardest i yep. think of my career to do is just eat the right food and at, you're, at the you're, right time. you're a naturally big guy so it's not like you, you yeah, put if, on weight yeah, yeah. if i eat the burger today <laughs> tomorrow i'll be two kg <laughs> so i wish i was like have those white boys <laughs> jeans <laughs> they can eat burger or whatever and they're still skinny and that's like mine bro I can't wear it wrong I'm skinny they're still <laughs> ripped damn it um, I was going to say well actually I'm, I'm pretty sure I could I could be someone fact check me here but I'm pretty sure Tongans are the biggest people in the world like on, yeah. on, on average yeah yeah yes, so like you can always use that excuse <laughs> <laughs> hey we're the biggest <laughs> people in the world like come on it's man. just the thing is they, <laughs> these days what people skin fold as well so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fit yeah so it's no good so. <laughs> um so have you ever like this, i know this is left field but you know with hayne you know going over and like is, is nfl something you enjoy like cause i reckon you'd be a mad nfl player <laughs> i would say no to that man seriously yeah. i reckon like, you'd be awesome no one would say no the Running game's back. yeah it's pretty cool yeah. to watch the game but like if you get the chance to do it i'll probably oh, will do it I'll, I'll be so if awesome. someone said no there yeah, i reckon they're lying oh 100 <laughs> yeah. i mean nfl it's, it's like it's nfl cool. yeah oh yeah. man it's, it's a pretty good man's sport but not it's as tough as league so i would yeah. say yeah, <laughs> yeah. League's, league's, i reckon league's tough because like you you got no rest man yeah, this that's it's always running <laughs> body into body <you> just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's um this is for i guess um australia australian culture wouldn't really know about this but what's the freshest moment you've had you know, what's the freshest moment that you've said? It's like, I don't know, like, you've spoken in Tonga when you, or, or you've said a word that, that isn't the right word or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, that's, it was just, it was Faletti who was cheating me up because he, <laughs> he knew that I didn't know what it is. Yeah. And then, uh, is it Zucchini? Zucchini? Those, zucchini? Yeah, yeah, zucchini. Yeah, yeah. And he wrote it down because they, they were eating zucchini, the zucchini came in the food with, like, with the boys when they didn't have um, yeah. GC and then, he put the thing and he asked him what is that and i i said i don't know and he wrote it down and it's like there yeah, there it is what is <laughs> and i said succini <laughs> and then he just yeah he just lost it and i've got a, a lot of stuff that i've said it was so <laughs> stupid like i said my first interview ever i said i said something real fresh <laughs> the coach asked me if i if I had like, if I enjoyed the game and I yeah. just looked up to him, yeah, I just said I had a really good fun. <laughs> <laughs> and they still give it to especially, yeah, Jacob Lederman always gave it to me, man. So there's, there's a lot of like fresh stuff. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I remember the first time I was playing first 15 and it was a away trip and we always have to wear a um, suit after yeah. number ones. We call it number ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know you always have to wear black shoes <laughs> to a suit. I had this like, it was freaking just oh, chucks no. and it was just white and it was shiny ass <laughs> and I got them and I rock up to the bus and everyone was just laughing at my shoes and I was like, what are you guys talking about? Oh, these, shoes are and I, these, <laughs> these shoes are shiny ass and they're mad. And this is my first year out of, of Tonga and <laughs> thing, rock, rocking to the bus and the managers, they're just laughing. So so they, they thought I was just mucking around. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were mucking around, but you didn't and know. Then you... I, I thought I was the man just wearing a suit with those white like chucks, like shiny ass. And they told me after Yoni, you wear number ones with black shoes and then trashing shoes, not like any other shoes and i was just i lost it i was like oh, oh bro. man throwing so shoes out of the rubbish too. <laughs> <laughs> so you still can't was yeah. that was that the like the first time you ever worn a suit yeah oh yeah. man that's and crazy and just one thing I, i've got a big neck so <laughs> even in the club they know like when you spit my the shirt my shirt like has to be free xl because <laughs> that's 
down on your button will we'll go reach my neck and the shirt will just break your ass and I and the voice knows that I don't, they don't like wearing ties which just yeah, yeah. make me look like a little nugget so it's, oh it's cool. bro it's so funny do you, is it so is it a very like a family vibe there at, at Warriors like you, you oh, feel man, like it's, it's family there yeah it's, it's yeah it is now like, yeah was it hard it's, at the start though like when you first 20s did you miss your home a lot or, or is it kind of slowly become where you know family is still family in Tonga but you've got your kind of second home here yeah. in New Zealand uh, I guess the boys are always good as soon as I moved in it was, it was the, I can yeah. feel the, the family culture was there the whole time yeah. it's just because it was my fifth year and I had four coaches it's just yeah, yeah, it's oh, just okay. kind of hard yeah, to, yeah. to but um, the boys it's amazing boys man they'll look after you in the off field as well they'll yep. try to help you out so yeah it's it's pretty cool it's a, it's a um, as I said earlier it's a good club and when I went there like I mean I had shit going on off field so I didn't put myself out there as much as I should have but the boys were fully like so good like they were like tried as hard as they could to just you know invite me in even if I was an Aussie you know coming over here living they like went out of their way to try and get me to be a part of the crew which is something that like it's it, some clubs don't really do that man like it's, yeah, it's, it's unique pretty like cool, especially in the office as well now yep. this year started last year they're, they're trying to like, get him on with the office with office people not just us down here and then them up there yeah, in the office so true. we kind of like do everything together now like yep. whatever we need to know the office we know and whatever they need to know we know as well so that's good they're gonna call them like Jim Dolan and them looking yep. after us so it's good so yeah, yeah. did you make yourself an eligible uh, play to play for Kiwis or are you uh, going to stay with Tonga uh, I've still don't make up my mind yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've been playing for Tonga and then I want to I want to play for them again for the, for the yeah, next yeah. World Cup it's hard because yeah. like you love your country but like you know it's a second home and yeah and it's, it's like tough. as a kid i've always wanted to, to play for the new zealand team yeah. when i was yeah. a, i was a kid but at this stage like still want to represent my country like we didn't make it to quarters um in the last world cup yeah. but then hopefully just to have like a good team we've got some amazing coaching staffs now so yeah it's good like everything is working well like before it was like 50 yeah, 50 that yeah, you want to yeah. play for for them because of yeah. the staffs and but now it's rock solid and oh, okay, so they're building, building yeah, something building there. something okay. yeah so that's i want to cool. be involved in that and hopefully we get a, get a good team for the next world cup so that's next year so yeah, yeah it's um it's it's tough man because like i reckon with especially like boys like yourself like it's not like yeah like you, you want to play for new zealand but you you know as as you said you love tonga so much it's such a tough just de- like it's a tough decision i honestly reckon that like I think you should honestly be able to play for both, but that's that's a different that's yeah, a it's different a time. Different, it's, it's, yeah. you know, it's hard. It's hard, man. I, yeah, I, at the same time, I just want to give something back to my my my, my country, my yeah, yeah. And, and people that I, uh, I grew up with, and just yeah, it's hard. It's yeah. it's so hard because a lot of people don't realize like you, you also you get paid a lot more to play for New Zealand as yeah, well. And, yeah. and I mean, so like if you've got family, you've got children, or, or whatever, or, or you know. For Tonga, you might get a few thousand dollars, maybe. I don't yeah, even know what it is. Yeah. For New Zealand, you get like twelve yeah, or, or whatever. So that's true. You know, because so some sometimes people think they they think of the wrong. If some Tongan players go and play for Kiwis, yeah, they, they yeah. don't really know actually know what happens. So yeah, yeah. Like you tough. said, just said before, they have families they might need exactly, yeah, exactly. Well, so. It's very tough. It's it's tough, and I think that I wish that there was more. Um, I wish the NRL kind of just showed the public like. These are the reasons why these players yeah, have such a hard to, decision. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's a hard easy. choice. It's not a, yeah. Um, like yeah. So anyway, well. Um, so yeah. So pl- this week playing All Stars. What was that like? And was that cool? Like what's man? I was. I would never see myself playing here. Like All Stars. You're in the yeah, All Stars. Like it, it's, it's funny. Yes. Yeah, so when uh, it's after the ninth, then yeah, well, um, was chilling with the boys, and I got the call, and I thought the manager was like genius because <laughs> it it can't be like at ten. Because yep. there's waiting on Roger, like how he feels. Um, okay. Because yep. I was just there, and then Roger didn't look like, still a bit sore, and then yep. he said <laughs> I was the next one to get the call. That's awesome, man. And I was like, um, are you sure? And he was like, they said only if you want to play, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I want to play. That's awesome, and then, bro. Yeah, came in our first training session. It was yesterday. Uh, there was there, so like starstruck around. Yeah, like, yeah. Who, who's, the, who's the most that you've been starstruck by? Like, uh, you're like oh, shit. Well, he doesn't know yet. It was Cameron Smith. Oh, really? <laughs> big, <laughs> big fan of him. Yeah, he's Cameron the man. Smith, he, he's, he's, he's the man. Like, he was with a lot of players in the team. It was yep. just uh, Rajra, Sammy Rajra is there Yo, too. He's, um, he's good, man. Monty Tapao. Yep, It's Tapao. just yep. crazy to, to be around those those legends in the game. And Ennis as well is there. He's a gun. They're, they're, 
of the film and they're funny blogs man yeah. like yeah like like it's <laughs> different ass because yeah. i always just play against them and they're always like very serious tough ass, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah like yeah. someone would rip each other's head off but yeah. then when dinner the other night everyone's just cracking up <laughs> laughing <laughs> Uh, I get to chill with the the twin Morris too, and then the Burgess yeah, too. Cool, eh? cool. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was good buzz. But like like you said, I'm here. I'm here. The all stars. No one can believe that I'm here. But I'm, it's I'm, awesome, I'm man. It's awesome. Did you when, did you call your parents and tell them? Or that, like, uh, when, not yet. No, yeah, they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> yeah. You gotta call them. Yeah, mate. I'll probably call them just <laughs> on Friday to tell them that I'm playing. <laughs> but I post up a photo on Facebook, so hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll see it. From it. Yeah. Oh, I, I call them. I just try to call them, but no one answers. I was like, oh, nah, I won't call them again. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they wouldn't have mobile, so they just have a Yeah, I just wait till make sure I play. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing, and then you're like, not in the field. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you lying boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so going forward, like, what's the, you know, like, in the next year, has, you know, do you believe that you can win the premiership? Or the Warriors, when, when you sit down and you talk about the goals for this year, is premiership the goal or you don't talk about that at all? Um, it's just, obviously, I reckon every team, that's what they need is yep. to win the premiership. Especially uh, our team, we haven't won one yet. Yep. So we had a massive pre-season, off-season, and we'll, we'll, we'll prepare very well for, for the season. So yep. um, over there, we're, we're not kind of like um, overthink about it, but we were training wise just to win premiership like yep. every single training session it's to win okay so yeah it's kind of like yeah everything there is to win and just looking forward to winning the first premiership this year so hopefully so yeah um i've got some fan questions for you bro pretty sure i do yeah um i haven't read them yet but <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what they'll be uh, actually i've got to ask you before the fan question favorite rapper of all time what's that Sorry. favorite favorite rapper of all Riffle. time yeah <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Everyone says uh, Tupac or Biggie. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you're good, but Snoop Dogg's still alive. Eminem, now, bro. So. I'm a white boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, favorite movie of all time? Um, has to be Lion King and Mulan. Lion King? Yeah. <laughs> nice, Mulan. man. My dog, Nala. Oh, really? Yeah, you yeah. call it Nala? That's yeah. awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, I love the Lion King man. Yeah. When he when his father dies, <laughs> yeah. God damn, it's so sad. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, it brings a tear to the eye today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, oh, we'll just um, we we can cut this out if you don't want to talk about it. But so with yeah, with the running style, is it like we, walk us through that play when you're running and you do like with on the and the nines, like when you got the ball. What you know? What was going through your head? Like, was it like I'm gonna just trying to bump him? You know what I mean? Like, just to give yeah. people a better idea of what you're actually thinking on the field. You know, yeah. not actually. As soon as I catch the ball, the thing in my mind, I need to run hard. Yep. And that's it. Yep. That's that's. But I, I guess the the running style I have, I, I've always had it since I was, I grew up since yeah. I was in Tonga. Yep. Just trying to impress myself to, to protect myself or not to get hit. So. Yep. And I also, guess, it's 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 stronger. Like yeah. Them too. I, ne- I never think of like trying to knock anyone out. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Like, the last thing. The last yeah. thing. You don't want that because you're playing the same thing and you want it to happen to yourself. Yeah, 100%. So, yep. But I guess as soon, every time I get the ball, I just want to run hard and yep. and try to get a quick play of the ball for the, for the teams or offload. or yep. Yeah, that's... that's that's So when that happens, I, like, I was filthy. I wasn't filthy of myself if I was running style. I was filthy that he's in a, in a bad situation. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I didn't want him to be in that situation. Yeah. yeah. So I was kind of like, I was kind of thinking about it like the whole game. Yeah. So after the game, I went and talked to him, went to the change room. He said, he just can't remember anything. Yeah. And, uh, so I, was, well, I want to say sorry to him. But like every game, that's all I want to do. I just run hard for, for, yeah, yeah. for, and you, for you, my teammates yeah. and try to get a quick play of the ball or offload. But um, like they said, my knee is just too high. But I think that's the thing of me and my trainer to go look at in, in the club yeah. and just learn from it. But like from now on, I'm not going to stop running hard. Yeah, yeah, no, no but way. like like I said before, it's the last thing on my mind to to knock someone out or yeah, no, you're not to do something to. terrible with someone else because yep. I'm playing the same game as he's playing, and I want to put myself in that situation yep. too. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, like just so, and also like people need to. I mean, it's hard for someone watching the game; they don't realize that 
these situations are just like they're accident like it's not yeah. like you're actually thinking I want to hurt this guy yeah. when you're running at him you know you're just running yeah like, the only thing I want I just want to hit a quick play of the ball yeah, offload yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. nah man it's um it's tough I, like I, I, I'm not nervous for you but I don't lose your aggression because it's, it's so good to watch man it's yeah. just one of those you know tough things but um yeah what um just from read it love watching you play um what are you what what are you doing to become uh, a consist like more consistent this year? Um, like I, like I said before, it's eating well. Yeah, it's, it's my my um, food is good. I'll be sweet. Yeah, so, okay. um, yep. I guess the training. This is the best shape I've ever been in my entire career. So I reckon it's a good start there. Yep. So yeah. Oh, so this is the best. This is the best yeah. you felt. Yeah. Um, yep. That's good. That's good, man. Um, what are some of your pre game pre game rituals? Uh Always, always call my mom before game day, like in the changing room before I wear my jersey. Yep. And just listening to Bob Marley and just try to relax as much as I can and just don't think of anything. Oh, Sometimes okay. I like to pump the music and dance, but then before I come to the team meeting, I just try to relax and not yep. think about footy at all. So, yeah. Okay, so you call your mom. That's cool. And you, yeah. like, you just talk about I just, just whatever. I just say, mom, playing now. And she's like, oh, good luck. Thank you. Love oh, it. that's, that's awesome, it. man. That's Three awesome. seconds, five seconds, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Have you, has there ever been a time when like it's, you've forgotten or anything? Or never, nah, forgotten, just never? Sometimes like, I'll call it, no one answers, and sometimes like... But like, you'll uh, always call. Sure that I can't, yeah. yeah. Like, have the opportunity, I can try that's to call, cool, man. That's cool, man. That's cool. Um, um, <clears throat> what do you, this is from Drew is. When the Warriors are struggling, you know, they play awesome one week, Okay, the next. What do you what do you reckon it is? Is it confidence? You reckon, or is it what? Do you, what do you, is it because you've had four coaches in four years? Like, you know, uh, what's the? Or oh, you've had a few, fair few coaches in, in the last few years. Anyway. Yeah. What do you well, reckon it is? Like, is it because you've always had the you always have the side, and when you yeah, play good, you beat any side. Good, yeah. Um, I reckon that those things are like from individuals, like yep. just how we prepare for the for the game. Yep. Um, so I can't really answer that question because I reckon it's a team thing and not just yeah, yeah. thing on my own so it's um, hard man because yeah, if, you, if you knew you'd fix yeah, it yeah yeah, yeah. Or, like but, yeah it just yeah. happens in, in a week I guess what position do you think you'll cement like what position long term would you like to be would you like to be a centre or would you, yeah, would you like yeah, to move towards centre yeah, yeah. yeah good to um, what's the funniest memory playing footy What's the what's the when you think of memory footy? What's something that stands out to you? Like as in like, like I don't know, Thurston throwing balls around your head, or like getting fended, or just a try. What's your favorite try? Oh yeah, I f- oh. So oh, the fair, fair try I've scored was probably against the Rebellos. Yep. But um, I think it's a funny memory because the whole week I was really prepared for against the Rebels again. It was just I always like know that Greg Ring has got a right hand fin. Yep. And in my head, like the whole week, yep. yeah, I got it, I got it. Yep. And he came to the game, I got sit on my ass. His, his <laughs> hands fully covered my face. And, <laughs> you know, the only thing I got him was a tap in on, on his ankle. ankle, and, ankle tap. <laughs> yeah, and like in my head, I was like, I was, I knew this was coming, and it still didn't. Yeah, oh, bro, same. Because yeah, he like he went like this, and I went tap it down. And as soon as my hand came down, his hand on <laughs> my face, and I was like, it was <laughs> same thing happened to me, bro. <laughs> but I heard um, this is one. Kevin Locke was still with us yeah, yeah. and I heard him from behind me he was like swearing at me make your tackle because he knew <laughs> his English he, came out he and he's the only one with him <laughs> 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 but lucky I ankle tapped him and he went down <laughs> yeah, the same thing happened to me man I'm like I was running beside him like like, and I'm like he's going to fend me he's going to fend me he's going to fend me and then I went like this and he's going <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like the whole week I knew it's he doesn't. His left hand is not that strong, but his right hand. Yeah. So I already, already, I knew, I knew it, I knew it. And like, like training, I was like getting someone to do it to me. Yep. And counting. <laughs> training. <laughs> my face was on the ground. My ass was on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Ankle tapping, but it was good. Bro, you know when he when he fended me, what made it worse is so he fended me, and like as I was falling. My face hit the back of his boot. <laughs> 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 and so I was like on the ground, just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, all right, bro, we're all done, man. I really appreciate you coming on. Yeah, Thanks man. so much. This, this is pretty cool. Thanks yeah. for having me. No worries, man. And um, yeah, good luck on the weekend, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You're going to kill play. it, bro. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, you're going to kill it. You're going to kill yeah, it. He'll be there. English uh, will be there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching for the um, Yeah, all right, brother. I, um, yeah, appreciate coming on. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sweet, mate. brother. Bye.
Hey babe, you can stop pretending to not give me the silent treatment because I watch too much footy and then I ask you what's wrong and you say nothing's wrong and then I get in trouble for not asking you what's wrong because I just won a thousand bucks. How? I'm glad you asked. Very convenient of you. I went to moneyball.com.au and I signed up for free. With entry fees as low as $2, you can win up to a thousand bucks. And that's what I just did. You may be wondering why I'm talking to you like a commercial. I have no idea either. moneyball.com.au.